Thursday night, Kendrick Lamar dropped a new song titled Humble, and it came with a stunning music video. The video was directed by Dave Myers, who's won awards for directing other classic videos like Outkast, Bombs Over Baghdad, and Missy Elliott's Lose Control. But it wasn't all Myers. The collaborative duo The Little Homies, which consists of TDE president Dave Free and K-Dot himself, also helped direct. The video has a religious undertone and is jam-packed with striking visual references. Here are the major ones. The video opens with Kendrick dressed as a pope inside an empty cathedral. Whether by design or coincidence, it's reminiscent of HBO's The Young Pope, but that show only started airing in America this January, so it depends on when they made the video. Next, there's the 360 Tiny Planet stereographic shot of Kendrick riding a bike, which might be a nod to some of the more visually daring late 90s and early 2000s music videos. Then, Kendrick raps in a sea of bald men, all dressed in black, with their heads turned down, bobbing around. The scene reminds us of another Dr. Dre protege, Eminem, and his video for The Real Slim Shady. But it could be taking inspiration from another HBO show, Larry David's Curb Your Enthusiasm. But they might all be cribbing from 1999's Being John Malkovich. Next, Kendrick very humbly compares himself to Jesus with a reference to The Last Supper, a Da Vinci painting from the late 1400s that depicts Jesus breaking bread with his disciples before being betrayed. The Last Supper is one of the most famous paintings ever, so it's a popular cultural reference as a whole, but in rap in particular. Rappers like ASAP Ferg, Nas, and most recently Stormzy have all referenced Da Vinci's masterpiece in music videos and album covers. The best part might be the middle when Kendrick raps with his head on fire, which resembles the Marvel superhero Ghost Rider. And finally, the video also references a classic 1981 Grey Poupon commercial. Kendrick isn't the first to reference the ad, Perhaps the most memorable pop culture reference is from the 1992 movie Wayne's World. For whatever reason, Grey Poupon has a lot of cultural relevance in hip hop. In 2011 alone, 15 different rap songs mentioned Grey Poupon. And last year, Kanye referenced it on The Life of Pablo. Easy, 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 this is pure lecture. I give him Grey Poupon on a DJ Mustard. K-Dot's album is coming next week, so sit down, stay humble, and stay tuned for even more Genius News.